Hello, it's Jack and Daxter, the HD version. Look how nice that model looks. That's a great model. Too bad it's not going to be in the game. Oh. Uh, I'm RJ Waters. Too. I'm not. I'm 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 Instant Grat. And I'm Suspicious Dish. How are you guys doing? Instant Grat is uh, the Jack and Daxter expert, or resident. Being the only one on these forums who has completed a Jack and Daxter Let's Play to this date. It's the curse. I don't know what, like five attempts? And there's our star. I believe I'm the HD version of Instant Grat, so it's only appropriate that I do this game in HD. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> so like, in this metaphor, you would, be, uh, you would be Jack just shoving that sign in my face, like, get out of here. Yeah. You're so... sixth generation. It's instant rat, just add waters. <laughs> Press start already, sheesh. <clears throat> no, you gotta enjoy the, uh, the day to night cycle this game boasts as one of its features. This game, you can tell Naughty Dog was really uh, happy with the upgrades they can make with the PS2. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father... Are these subtitles actually, like, in the game, or did you put them in? I put them in painstakingly. Well done. Yeah, yeah, it really bugs me that they didn't actually have subtitle options for this game. They weren't in the original release, you know, you gotta be authentic to the, to the PlayStation 2 experience. Mm-hmm. It, they they did subtitles for Crash Team Racing. You figure they would have covered it to the next gen. I mean, Crash. So what exactly does the HD remake have on top, if not better models? I noticed like during the saving <laughs> screens, it says "Do not turn off the PS3." Is it like the only modification uh, they made? It's 16 by nine. The picture of the PS2 memory card when it's saving. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Also, it's it's like it's it's widescreen. Yeah, it's just a resolution upgrade, really. And, you know, despite them apparently being the same models... Oh, yes, that's definitely PS2 model. You know, <laughs> they do look better because the actual display output is higher res. Higher res. Yeah. And, like, ha has less noise in it. Yeah. But it comes with the drawback of some visual glitches. I'm sure you'll notice. A small act of disobedience. Hey! Uh, Jack... Old green stuff told us not to come here. Never go to Monkey I, Island, folks. <laughs> What's that? I have no idea. Um, I rag on Daxter a lot. I ragged on Daxter a lot in my Let's Play of this game. But I, I do think that I'm that it was a good choice to not make him human, like throughout the entire game, because no. his, his human model is just like his it's hair awful. bothers me yeah. on a fundamental level. I agree, but the. The solution to that isn't necessarily make him furry. The solution is draw better hair for his human form. <laughs> as much as much as I hate Daxter in Jack and Daxter, I, I I have to cherish him for what he is now because he becomes something so much worse in every game after this. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. I don't know. Isn't he just mostly a like a horn dog pervert in two and three, and that like that's his joke? Like, he is that in the first game as well, but he does other things in this game. I think it, it's a lot better written in this game, is the issue. What is that, Doc? I'm just imagining Daxter getting up in the morning and like, Yes, I am going to wear this white shirt, undershirt, this red overshirt, and this belt around my waist. That's a good... No, he'd have to say it in the most annoying way possible. Who voices this guy? Uh, Max something. I just imagine him to be like... Castellaneta? I don't know, he sounds like Schmorky. <laughs> the skeleton! No, he's wearing, he's wearing a skeleton as a suit. Oh. So you know he's badass. Oh, so he, he disguised as a skeleton. Man, that stung! I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened! Apparently goggles are immune what? to... Dark Eco. <laughs> Spoilers, that black stuff is called Dark Eco. <laughs> Goggles and gloves. Everything else, you know, if it's not steampunk, it gets transformed. That's the rule when you approach it. <laughs> not even Dark Eco wants to touch the steampunk. What in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... 
I have always liked Seamus' design. He's just, yeah. he's just a perfect grumpy old man. Mm -hmm. the, go the goggles, just, like the glasses, just make it. The varied size. Even though, like, he actually has eyes if you look behind. Yeah, they're, they're mirror images. I'm gonna keep you up because in my professional opinion, the They never acknowledge that bird on his log. And besides, I it's a cool tell bird. I don't I think there's to. there's that much to acknowledge about it. It's, cool bird. it's one of the many mysteries that the developers snuck in, to hoping to be on Earth later. To, form, to flesh out into a side plot later. Of course. Actually, if you, if you go back to the pool and check an inscription on the side of it, you will see it say, Bird is real. <laughs> 2041. <laughs> but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen sages? turn their ends on for quite a while. Mm -hmm. the only really? Uh, you have the sage, the time, Regno. Volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on. Such a great a erection joke there. I like that sound effect. <laughs> <All I would laughs> need that was me, sorry. Is there anybody in this game so far that doesn't have yes, some sort of sure, eyewear? Might work. But where are and Samos is the only one using his? Going to get 20 power cells. Everyone else is too busy be being steampunk. Mm. Or in the the eyewear, ages. again. This guy has a monocle, I think. Mm. Wait. So, why are people gathering up power cells? Well, it's it's in the name. We gotta we gotta find we gotta power a thing, so we need some power cells to do it. Right, but why is the village just hoarding them? They sound important. If they're anything like me, it's because they can't not collect something. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Like every the thing is, everyone has a HUD. There's like a growing grow, growing tally of how many power cells are in the world. And they're like, Brad, I only have four out of a hundred power cells. <laughs> Must explore further. Right. So this is going to serve as our tutorial level video, uh... You can't come back to the warp gate until you find all four power cells on this island. A highly sought after resource. You don't have to be so mean, dude. Like, seriously. We're trying to learn. Oh, he's constantly pissed. He's a grumpy old guy. That's like, that. that that's his thing. Mm-hmm. Now, I was led to believe this game is like a new version of Crash Bandicoot, and it is nothing like it. I'm getting zero wump of fruit from these. Well, excuse me, the, if you press the circle button, the main character spins around. No. And I think you will find... <laughs> hey, th I'm, I'm those staying are not into the, uh, the cannon here. They have not revealed that power to me yet. I'm sorry, that is distinctly not an orb shape. Mm -hmm. You're bad at naming things, Another valuable things, resource. Dog. What do you mean? It looks perfectly spherical to me. <laughs> Because pre precursor egg doesn't ins inspire mystery or only orbs can have the mystical power. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Precursor egg just sounds like something that is about to be cursed into breakfast. a delicious omelet. Right. <laughs> Post cursed. Post cursed yes. into an omelet. So this is our jiggy. So when we collect it, uh, they get jiggy with it. Oh, you're right, it does have the PS2 memory card icon. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Yep. This is a fantastic high-definition reimagining of this classic game, mm -hmm. brought up to speed with modern sensibilities. Like eight memory byte flashcards. <laughs> this is a pain in the ass. A pain in the knuckles, rather. Looks more like a pain in the forehead. Mm. You have to collect the seven red boxes to get a power star. Or, uh. Yeah, so the thing about those is like there's seven of those crates in every area in the game. It's the red coin of the game. Yeah. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even. I can only relate to video games in terms of other video games. <laughs> right. What is my life? The the you can tell when I have the blue ego the the physics of this game it's really there's a lot of inertia to it to when you're playing it's something you have to really adjust to so it's like acceleration you're saying 
Blue yeah, Eco cause... has is like the, the the magic of movement. So like things gravitate mm -hmm. towards you and you run a lot faster. Okay, so it's the run button. Mm hmm. I like that you can see other parts of the game from anywhere in the game. I I don't like that they hide precursor orbs off the ledges of several levels like this. Unless you take advantage of the, the fast travel system, there are actually no load times in this game, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. It's just one big continuous world. Do you swim mm -hmm. from one world to another? Uh, uh, no, I'll try though. You, you, you can certainly try, and there is no invisible walls to stop you. Just a, mm -hmm. just a time out? We'll see what happens. It's okay. a very immersive experience. I plan on showing off everything this game has to offer. Like those butterflies. We love butterflies. Mm hmm. But you can tell with uh, Jack's movement, whenever I, I stop moving, he, he'll slide just a little bit, and when you turn directions quickly, he'll continue in the way he was going. Same thing when, with up forward, or upward momentum when he jumps. Yep. Everything kind of turns into like ice physics light when you're mm -hmm. powered by, by Blue Eco. Yeah, it's nice. So that's something else, like there's a bunch of, uh, of precursor items, like like doors, but also other things later in the game that you can only use if you are if you have blue eco. So I assume this is a mostly used for a time attack challenge. Yeah. Pretty much. Some of the time, uh, blue eco is just there for convenience, so you don't have to actually manually touch every collectible. That's a blue eco vent! More concentrated than the floating clusters, this vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Like you can see that beach off to the off to the left there. That's where we started. We could swim over there if we wanted right now, but it would set us back greatly. It doesn't look like there's anybody populated on that beach. Does the houses there isn't. not load until you get close? Uh, no. This is a completely different island from where we were before. Oh, okay. We took a transporter gate here. Is this is this the only time there are different islands or? Oh no, they're all over the place. Also, I'll have you notice the PS3 update. You were wondering what's new to this uh, version. We've got trophies. Damn, son. Yeah. Get 100% How... trophies. My my money cannot like shoot out of my wallet <laughs> fast enough. I don't even have a PS3. I must <laughs> own this game immediately. I'll have you know that every trophy in this game is just from getting collectibles. 100% in the game, 100% is the trophies. Somehow not surprised. Yeah. So you mean there's no, like, fall 50 feet in the air like an idiot trophy? But I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> you don't need Chivos to tell you what to do. Mm-hmm. You're a true like my own fun. I like the sounds that it makes when you jump on, on those yeah. platforms. The sound design in this game is excellent. I I'll show off a little bit of that once we get back to uh, Sandover Village. Like, they're just big, hollow, copper drums. Really and satisfying they're... sounds all around in this game. Also, actually, like, active geysers. Mm-hmm, look how beautiful all this scenery is. That's why the island's called Geyser Rock. Mm-hmm. Because there's geysers. Well, which... Which rock is the Geyser Rock? That's the question. It's, 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 the, it's the island. The it's, a, it's the genre of music that it produces. Ah! The soundtrack right now. So the, these platforms, once you have activated them once, they will stay active. You don't mm -hmm. need to be constantly on the Do you have to activate them with Blue Eco? Is that what the lightning bolt means? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the key to... Oh god, choices. The video's almost over. Ah, see you next I time. I don't deal with outros.